Hey guys, you like? So we're getting an angle of the face, like three quarters, like In this video, I'll be showing you my camera setup with the 360 camera during vlogging. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chote. Switching over to the 787. Some of you have been asking me in the comments a little bit about my video setup, where I mount the cameras, what's the process when I go through, when I'm vlogging, when I'm shooting the video. So let me take you for a tour, I'll show you uh, the setup on my Harley and show a few shots from different positions. First of all, before we start, I'd like to ask a very big uh, favor. If you're enjoying these videos of mine, I would appreciate if you want to watch more of them to subscribe to the channel just hit that nice subscribe logo and make sure you hit that uh, bell so you get notifications for every time uh, i put out a video so let's head on to my bike and do a little walk around to see the different uh, positions where i mount the cameras let's go so this is the basic uh setup this is the insta 360 one x i don't know if you're familiar with the camera but this is what i use at every given moment once it's recording with these two lenses, it records a whole sphere, 360 degrees angle. So you don't need to worry where it's facing. It's always recording everything around you. So as you can see, I mounted these two ram, uh, ram mount uh, balls. One over here on the right side by the engine guard. One on the left side. That way I always get uh, an option to mount uh, the camera, the 360 camera there either directly or uh, with uh, the selfie stick. I use this uh, ram mount suction cup attached to the saddles, to the bags on the right. And I uh, put the, the camera right here or use an extension of uh, the selfie stick. I put it on the right side or on the left side. So this is what I use initially. And I mount it uh, lowest position. I'll call this position A all the way on the right side in the front. So now you can see it actually mounted. I'll call this position A uh, short, which will be with no selfie stick. Later on, we'll put the selfie stick. So here are some shots while riding with uh, A short position. Starting out the day with position A short right down there. How's it now? Better? Yep. You like my new kicks? Huh? I put that, I put that patch on myself, got it on eBay. Anyway, the camera is uh, in the A short position all the way in the front on the bottom. No selfie stick. Uh, position A with the selfie stick. You can see they call it the invisible uh, selfie stick because while stitching, they call it stitching, taking the two uh, pieces of footage that come out of the camera. When they connect the two video files together, this uh, selfie stick is in, becomes invisible. Let's see some shots from that uh, angle. Like my new helmet. Bell Rogue, badass, and it's got nice protection. It's three quarters, a muzzle for face protection, not, not for falling, but mainly for road, uh, bugs, and rocks, and stuff like that. So 
now you're pretty much seeing uh, the position on the front, front right. So I get a, a 3D kind of 3D angle from the right. You see me, you see traffic behind me, easily can switch the view to the front. What do you say, you like this? We'll call this one position A. If you like it, just down by the comments right, I like position A. So yeah, what I'm wearing right now is uh, the Bell Rogue. Uh, the video I did about uh, safe versus cool, one of you guys said, Sandy, you're a hypocrite because you're talking about being safe and you're riding with a beanie helmet. It's got no protection. If you fall, you rip your face off and you're absolutely right. So it got me thinking, maybe I should get uh, another helmet that has a little bit more protection on it for the face. So of course the best one would be a full face. That I have already a nice showy RF 1200, but I wanted to get also something cool uh, that will be like somewhat open, open face, like three quarters like this and have some kind of protection of the face. So I got this one. It's pretty cool, I think. So you see, I do listen to you guys, actually. By the way, we're halfway there to get 100 comments on the video comparing the two signal lights. So if you want to win a free uh, signal light kit, just go ahead and uh, go to this uh, video right here and watch the video and in the comments, write what uh, signal light you prefer. Be on my left <coughs> for the angle of the camera so I get you. position still I would say on the front right but it's good back so it's I don't know my two o'clock my two o'clock position <laughs> leave it alone don't touch now it's mounted in position B we'll call it B short because there's no selfie stick it's on the right side on the saddle bag take a look at some of the angles from this position the short right back position it's on my saddlebag on the right side on my saddlebag on the right side with uh, no selfie stick so it's shorter uh, sticks shorter angle less depth I think it has to and we're uh, taking this nice video of uh, John's street actually no it's the speed triple So if you were wondering about the sound, I have uh, this little digital recorder, voice recorder with an extension, a lavalier mic that I uh, have a little wind muff. I plug it over here, right over here. And this I run in my jacket. And later on, I download the sound file and match it up with the video file. That's why you can always hear me clear. You hear the bike, you hear me speaking. And in editing, I just match up uh, the sound with the with the video long using a selfie stick on the saddlebag on the right in the back selfie stick extended we'll call it B long go I have the camera now I have the camera now on the B position saddlebag right side with the selfie stick so it's extended out and you're uh, really right here on my, uh, it's as if uh, there's a drone right here on the right side. 
I didn't get a chance to uh, tell you and ask you that if you guys are uh, enjoying enjoying this video, uh, I do appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to watch more of these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe logo. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. That way you get uh, a notification every time I put out a new video. Now the selfie stick is slowly drifting backwards and dropping lower. stick stretched completely out so it's on the right side in the back and it's stretched out so we're getting an angle of me mounted on position C it's on the left side rear saddlebag and it's short C short because I'm not using any selfie stick switched over the camera to the left side now we're it's on the back left rear the back of the back of the bike we'll call it position C Lakes all over the place, to the right, to the left. Very nice. C long all the way in the back with the uh, selfie stick extended all the way to the left getting a nice uh, angle take a look at some of the shots from this angle <laughs> so now the camera is close nearby me it's to the C position on my left side on the rear on the back saddlebag on the saddlebag and uh, the selfie is stretched out so it's literally near uh, a little bit ahead of my shoulder my left shoulder and as we go faster it's gonna start uh, drooping and moving back Guys, what do you think? Which uh, angle, which position do you like the most? Go ahead and write down by the comments A, B, C, D, selfie stick, long, short, whatever. 
I'll see and I'll tell you what I like the most. Enjoying these videos. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Give me a thumbs up if you're at it. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Already still on the left side. The, the bag on the left side in the back. Front, left, uh, with the selfie stick position. D long, we'll call it. And you can see the selfie stick is uh, ex fully extended. is about a uh, meter, meter and a half, four foot long. And take a look of uh, some of the uh, files, video files from this uh, angle. So the camera is all the way out there. D long position on the left side front. Kind of a 3D angle, gives it some depth. is sticking pretty far out it's like four five feet out so I need to be a little bit further in so cars on the other way don't hit the camera I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm sure some of you did notice that uh, the, the, the helmet is different from some of the shots. It's because I had to have footage taken in two different days. I was missing some, some shots and during that time I was able to actually get a nice little sticker of a Harley Davidson sticker on the top, so. Hey guys, you like this new sticker? What do you say, cool or not? Now this is a front left position D short. There's no selfie stick connected, it's just a lower angle. Take a look at some of the footage. So the camera is all the way down there. D short position on the left front. How about these? On the left side, you like the kicks? Yep. Finally, the last attachment over here, a ram mount with a ball, one of course for my phone, the other for a GoPro Hero 8 that I have facing, facing towards me so I, I can get a nice facial shot. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. Now this shot is what you've seen before, the selfie shot or the face shot, close up on my face, uh, using the GoPro 8 like I've just uh, showed. And now with this new mask, this new muzzle, the new helmet with the muzzle, you can't really see my lips moving. 
but trust me, this is exactly what I'm saying. Do me a favor, down by the comment section, write a comment. What camera angle do you like the most? What position? Down by the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. You like my new helmet with the Harley Davidson sticker that I got on eBay? That's it for now, guys. Gonna wrap this one up. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Not subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that circle, the I Am Sandy logo. Make sure you hit that bell for notification until the next video. I Am Sandy, peace out. Oh, there's deer right by my house.